Hey everybody, so as most of you know, the new historical Be Forever collection has come out and I decided to go to the American Girl store to see it for myself. So come along with me and let's see the collection in person. So right up front we have all of the Be Forever characters, including of course, the brand new Samantha Parkington, who's been brought back from their archives. One of the major changes with the Be Forever collection is that they got rid of the best friend dolls and they said that's because they want to focus on the owner of the doll being the best friend, which I think is kind of cool. So let's start off with Samantha Parkington, who was one of American Girl's original dolls, and her collection releases with six brand new outfits. As you can see, she features the longer pre-Mattel bangs, which no other doll American Girl currently sells has. Along with Samantha's collection is this really cute ice cream parlor. The colors are so cute and pretty in person, and the detail is really, really great. And I love Samantha's new bed because I think it's absolutely adorable. If you want to get a princessy sort of bed for your doll, this is the bed to choose. I love Samantha's new meat outfit, and for those of you who didn't know, they changed her meat outfit from the one that she came with back when she was first released. And I love the modern version of the dress for the human size, and I think that if you're younger, it is such a cute dress for you. This bicycle is actually really high quality in person, and I love the little sunflowers. So overall with Samantha, I'm so glad that they brought her back because she's super cute, and I love the attention to detail in her new collection. Next up, I wanted to show you Julie, and Julie has a brand new meat outfit that is super bright and fun. So most of the historical characters have had their meat outfits changed, and at first I was kind of disappointed because you kind of lost that like classic feel when they changed the meat outfits. But once I got to see the meat outfits in person, they actually turned out to be super cute and I think that they did a good job with the change. However, this new holiday dress definitely isn't one of my favorites. This new egg thing looks kind of weird online, but in person it's really cute and the orange color is really bright and fun. And it's really cool because you can plug in your phone and play the music through the speakers. So next is Kit, and out of all the new meat outfits, Kit's is definitely my favorite. I love the color because it's so different, it's not just pink or purple, and I think it's so cute on her. 
I also love this new sweater outfit here. Personally, I liked Rebecca's old meat outfit better, but this one definitely isn't terrible or anything. I think my main negative thought about the new Be Forever collection is that they raised the price of all the dolls to $115. That's expensive. This outfit is definitely one of my favorites because the color looks so pretty on Rebecca. And Abby got a revamped meat outfit and one of her other outfits is new too. Out of all of the human sized outfits, Addie's is definitely my favorite. It's so cute. I definitely have to say that the Be Forever collection looks a lot better in person than it does online. So even if you're not sure that you like it from the online pictures, hopefully you can see from the video that the new stuff is cool. I love how detailed this treats table is too. And then here is Caroline's human sized outfit. And Josefina got a new meat outfit too, but it's definitely not as obvious because it has the same silhouette, they just brightened the color of her skirt from a burgundy to like a bright red. I love how they made human sized outfits for every single historical doll. They gave Kaya some new hair accessories. And the human sized outfit for her is really cute and tribal. And then here are the mini dolls who look really really cute with their tiny little outfits, but it definitely does look a little lonely without the best friend dolls there. And then the last thing that I noticed about the Be Forever collection is that the box design is different. Now it has these little swirly red pink patterns on them, and then the boxes of the dolls look different too. At the bottom is a silhouette of each doll, which I think is pretty cool. So that is the new Be Forever collection. Overall, I really like it, and the main thing I don't like is the increased prices. But other than that, I think it was a really great release. Leave me your opinion down below in the comments, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!